all the good sunglasses, all of them, come out of the 80s. In the early 1980s, Ray-Ban is a brand on the way down. So they decide to get busy getting noticed. Tom Cruise in Risky Business with <laughs> you know, the famous poster. Called product placement, the idea is just to get a star to wear your product. And after Tom Cruise turns Ray-Ban Wayfarers into a smash hit, the company focuses on another of its most iconic brands. They're called aviators. These are things flyboys would use to fight glare when they're flying planes. Aviators are really just standard military issue until... Tom Cruise relaunches these iconic sunglasses. I feel the need, the need for speed. Aviator sunglasses are this innately all-American, clean-cut, heroic movie star look. It's no wonder they took off. The movie star coupled with Ray-Ban aviators captures the mood of the times as another movie star leads the charge for the U.S. to reclaim its military swagger. You ain't seen nothing yet. Ronald Reagan was really trying to expand the military at that time. Let's go! Okay, I guess. And I'm sure they were really glad when that movie came out because it's basically a long patriotic music video that all appealed very much in Reagan's America. The aviator just latched onto that. Everybody had them. One year after Top Gun tops the box office, Ray-Ban sales hit an all-time high of $1.2 billion. And thanks to some maverick product placement, aviators are as popular today as they've ever been. I hope that Tom Cruise had stock in Ray-Bans. That's all I'm saying.